your two minutes. Thank you very much. And good evening, everyone. I am the Republican County Commissioner in District 1. My qualifications are I have a master's degree in education from St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York. I've been a school teacher for almost 25 years, and I have 10 years of experience in public service as an elected official. As a commissioner, I've worked to make government more accountable and more efficient by voting to lower your property taxes by reducing the millage rate 25 percent over the last three years. As chairman of the board, I returned public prayer to board meetings and started the tradition of having veterans lead the Pledge of Allegiance. I've been a leader on growth management by spearheading the supermajority ordinance that protects our comprehensive plan and by twisting the arms of developers to cough up millions of dollars in voluntary contributions for the enhancement of our public schools and the rest of our infrastructure. I worked with the Citizens Ordinance Advisory Team to streamline and repeal unnecessary codes and regulations. I forged a compromise solution on animal licensing, making it basically voluntary. And I'm leading the effort to shift the mission of our code enforcement from sometimes heavy-handed political or police actions to one of cooperation and compliance. Last week, I persuaded a unanimous board to create an economic stimu stimulus package that will help put builders and their subcontractors back to work and improve dilapidated homes of our most impoverished citizens without bankrupting our fund for new road uh, construction. We've also asked our economic development director to return to help us expand e industry in our area. I've been strongly recommended for re-election by the St. Petersburg Times, and I ask for your vote to continue the progress we have begun in turning around your local government. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Zeidenboss, you may begin your two minutes. Thank you, John, and thank you to the Chamber of Commerce and for everyone that's in this room and everyone that is watching us at home. Uh, I'm uh, Jazz Zeidenboss, originally from Hoboken, New Jersey, and uh, I, when I left high school, I joined the Air Force and I enlisted uh, for four years, and in my final year, I served in combat engineering duty in Vietnam. Uh, right after the Air Force, I was married, and my wife and I raised four children and uh, daughters, and today I am a proud grandfather of seven grandkids. Uh, although it's been said that uh, government is not a business, it's also been said that it should be run like a business, and that's exactly why I am running, because we have not been running like a business uh, for the past four years that I've lived in Hernando County, and for that matter, I believe for the past 30 years. Um, in 2008, we, the citizens of Hernando County, find ourselves in dire straits probably worse than any other county in Florida. And uh, that's one reason is because of the doubling of our budget over the past two years from $121 million today back to $59 million in 2004 when the incumbent took office. A doubling of your budget with only a 10% increase in population. Uh, my question to you and to the incumbent, where did our money go? Of course, the incumbent tells you that he has been responsible for lowering the millage rate by 25 percent, but hides the fact that assessments went up 104 percent over the past four years, and taxes on non-homesteaded properties actually increased about 760 percent, crushing the non-homesteaded markets and telling snowbirds and investors and landlords alike to go home and walk away. Within the past two weeks, he's established a stimulus package, uh, which also means that in a couple years, those people will be hit with higher taxes and they will be forced to leave their homes. I'm Jazz Zeidenbos, running for county commissioner, District 1, and now to the uh, 26th of August primary. I'm not endorsed by any elite group of special interests you've been hearing about. I'm ready to represent all of the taxpayers of Hernando County and uh, without special interest. I'm ready and able to make the challenges that necessary to uh, local government so we can thrive in the years ahead as we did just four short years ago. Thank you, and God bless Hernando County. Thank you.